This video will show you how to use the YouTube app on mobile devices at a basic level and is brought to you by the Kakana Public Library. I am using an iPad for this tutorial, so some of the information may differ from Android devices. However, the apps are nearly identical and all the information in this video applies to both platforms equally. Please use the topics listed on the left side of the screen to navigate to the topic that interests you. If you already know a particular topic, you can skip to the time listed here if you know how. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you can click any of the subjects to jump to the part of the video where I discuss it. YouTube is an online video sharing platform formed in 2005. It is the most popular video sharing platform in the world. Users can find videos on nearly any subject, ranging from documentaries, tutorials, music videos, audiobooks, video clips, movie trailers, and more, all for free. YouTube worked on cell phones, tablets, laptops, desktops, and more, though does require an internet connection to work. The home page is where YouTube will show you video recommendations for you to browse. Your actions on YouTube determines the videos you will be recommended. Every action you take, whether it be watching, liking, commenting, sharing, or in any way interacting with a video will influence your recommendations. When you first use YouTube, it chooses random videos that other people have liked to populate your recommendations. The Explore section will give you more agency when selecting a video to watch. Instead of swiping through random videos, you can select a subject you're interested in to watch videos of that type. If you are a discerning video watcher, you can add content creators to your subscriptions list. Content creators are what people who regularly make videos on YouTube are called. They upload their videos to what's called their channel. Some content creators might upload videos every day, others once a month, and anywhere in between. Most videos on a channel are related in some way, and you can expect similar videos in the future for a given content creator. We will learn later exactly how to add content creators to this section. The notification section shows you updates about channels that you are subscribed to as well as your own channel, should you choose to start one. Notifications are represented by a red number on the notifications icon. The library section allows you to see history of the videos you've watched as well as access your playlists you create. We will learn how to add videos to playlists later in the video. You can also access videos you have created via your, the Your Videos option. Now that we have our bearings, let's learn how to use YouTube. To find a particular YouTube video, you will need to use the search bar. The search bar is represented by the magnifying glass icon in the upper right portion of the screen. Touching it will bring up your device's keyboard, allowing you to enter what kind of video you are looking for. If you know the name of the video, you can type it in. Otherwise, you can always search for a general subject instead. After entering your search term, press the search button on your keyboard. At the top of the page are ads most likely related to your search term. Underneath the ads or where the videos related to your search can be found. Simply touch your desired video to begin watching. This is how the screen looks when you watch a YouTube video. Let's break it down section by section, starting from the top. First is the video itself. It has a multitude of controls for you to choose from. First is the play and pause buttons. Touching the video once will bring up the controls. The two vertical lines will pause the video. To resume, press the triangle. The triangle and vertical lines to the right and left of the video will advance to a new video. To make the video bigger, touch the square icon in the lower right-hand corner of the video. Touch it again to return to the smaller view. To keep it simple, we will only be covering the upper left and upper right video options. The upper left down arrow icon will make the current window much smaller, exposing the previous search screen so you can continue watching the video while searching for a new video. This is also how you'll pull up the options along the bottom of the screen. The three dots in the upper right corner of the video are playback options. The first option, quality, allows you to choose the resolution the video will play in. The higher the number, the better the quality. However, higher quality playback demands a better internet connection. If the video has troubles playing, try reducing the quality. Captions are similar to movie captions, the major difference being YouTube auto-generates some captions. These can be inaccurate since YouTube uses voice recognition technology to guess what is being said in the video. 
Look for options that do not say auto-generated if possible. These options have been hand-entered by a real person and are usually much more accurate. You can also report a video if it falls into one of the following categories. There are 500 hours of video content uploaded to YouTube every minute, so some videos with inappropriate content can find their way onto the platform. YouTube relies partially on the report feature to stay on top of such videos. Help and feedback will let you type in a question about YouTube and potentially have it answered. You can also feed, uh, send feedback if you encounter a major problem when using YouTube. The final option is to alter the playback speed. You can significantly increase or decrease how fast the video plays. This can be useful if someone is speaking too quickly or too slowly. You can always select normal to return to its normal speed. Underneath the video, you will find options for liking or disliking a video. Liking a video will do two things. It will tell YouTube to recommend videos that are similar to the one you liked, as well as increase the likelihood that the video is recommended to other people using YouTube. You can also share a video with other people by using the share option. You can copy and paste the link to the video, send it via text messaging, or send it via email, among many other options. We will skip download for this video since this is just covering the basics. The next option is to save the video to a playlist. Press and hold this option to create a new playlist. If you remember from earlier in the video, playlists can be accessed from the history option on the YouTube homepage. Playlists are useful for keeping related videos together or reminding yourself that you'd like to watch a video later. Below the social features is the channel name and the subscribe button. Press subscribe to be notified when the content creator makes new videos for this channel. They will then show up in the subscriptions option on the home screen. The final social feature section are in the comments. By swiping down, you can read, rate, and reply to other YouTube users' comments or leave your own. To leave your own comment, touch add a public comment and begin typing. To reply to an existing comment, touch the text box icon. You must have a YouTube account to subscribe or comment on YouTube videos. Finally, on the right side of the screen are related videos. These are videos that YouTube thinks are similar to the video you are currently watching. After using YouTube for a while, you'll, you'll also find videos that are personalized to your particular viewing tastes in this section as well. If you have any questions about this video or anything related to technology in general, please don't hesitate to call the Kakana Public Library at 920-766-6340 extension 6 to set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment. At the time of uploading this video, our in-person one-on-one sessions are unavailable. However, you can still receive help either over the phone or via a Zoom call. Thank you for watching.